one thing that I have to speak on is the, the BET Awards. Now, if you missed out on the BET Awards, you really, you know, you didn't miss too much, but it seems like the black man is the sacrificial lamb for liberals, okay? Now, if you didn't see it, you know, Lil Nas X, okay? He, uh, one of the, had a country song, Old Town Road, you know, went viral, the next thing you know, he came out and now they're pushing the envelope and they're basically showing us what you have to do to be a part of Hollywood, what you have to do to be a part of their narrative and their agenda. But thank God we're living in a time where, you know, we could create, okay? Because right now, what I'm doing right now, you know, I can actually create, you know, and what we're trying to do is create a community. We're trying to create a community of really of righteousness on how we're going to be able to not only survive, but thrive moving forward, okay? So, but the little Nas X thing, man, you know, I, I, I don't really... If you didn't see it, you know, the man kissed the man on, on national TV, actually tongue kissed the man on national television. And, you know, like uh, I, I saw a brother, he was talking about all the booty shaking and all the other stuff that was going on. It was, you know, man, I understand in all fairness, but I, I probably wouldn't want to see Megan Thee Stallion tongue kiss her a male dancer. I really want to see Offset or, or the guy Quavo, who ever is Cardi B's married to. I don't want to see them tongue kids. So if, if we got to somehow ban public affection so we don't have to be molested with our eyes, you know, I'm all in with that.